absolutely did not need. I just should not have. Hi everyone, my name is Rika and thank you so much for stopping by my channel again. Welcome back to the vlog and we are having breakfast. I thought you were excited. So breakfast was delicious. I uh, like me that you want to know how much we're right now. Sis has gotten... Anyway. So a lot of music was playing in the background, hence I'm doing this voice over. What I was saying was... So I thought it was mainland Mexico, which is actually an island. It's not mainland Mexico. So I was saying that we're going to head up to get ready to head out for our excursion. More tequila then since I can't swim? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. Yes, more tequila, <laughs> of course. How about you? Right, his name is not Randy, no Fandy, no Sandy, no Mandy, no Wandy, no Tani, no Mandy, Nani, that's it. My name is Andy, nice to meet you. Yeah. Do we go here? You're gonna go with him. Okay. You're gonna remember, you're gonna share the car. They got a Rastas here. Oh, they got Rastas here? I cannot even. What does that sign even mean? With that, is that a lizard or a cat? I can't tell. Overall, the excursion was good. I feel like the Jeep was sold as like an adventure, almost like an ATV adventure, go to see the different sceneries around the island type of thing. But it it wasn't really that. It was more so um, drive yourself to the excursion. So I feel like that could have been a disclaimer. But, um, you know, that's just what is what it is. Along the way, it was definitely nice, but it also was just a lot of greenery. There wasn't that much a greenery and beach. That was that was kind of the, um, what you would see along your way. We made a stop at these Mayan ruins. It was definitely lovely. Um, I opted out of taking photos there. That heat really does something to you. Right after that, we were able to hop on over to see these crocodiles. Um, I mean... They weren't like up close and personal, but the water was a little bit, um, it's not clear where you can see them, but I guess that's just kind of the swampy water that crocodiles live in. This tower was a part of our excursion, but we ended up doing the tower excursion after. And then we got to the beach. Oh my gosh. Definitely 10 out of 10, my favorite part of this excursion was the beach. It was just so, 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 so good. Um, the pictures, it looked like the pictures that I saw that motivated me to book this excursion. It was just, it was everything. Oh, yeah, this is, okay, this part is worth it. I won't care so far. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, this real. is so nice. This I love. I was just pretending to put the scuba diving gear on. The man, the man already told me that I wouldn't be scuba diving because I can't swim. This is just going to be a lot of drawn out footage of this beach. Like, I don't know. For for me, this vlog was just about like relaxing. I really so a lot of the things on this 
I guess excursion I didn't really do but the beach was just everything for me it was just so good this drink I feel like the drinks here could have been a lot more strong especially I didn't even feel it was I had two drinks along with the tequila shots and like i was so gucci this is me trying to hear the instruction for the snorkeling i don't know why because i was already told that i would not be doing it but that's just me over there and then this is just more footage of the beach you know i love it here having fun already <laughs> it is good good i definitely enjoyed it um the drink was good as well but not as strong as i would like my drinks but really really good but these bees them and this drink and the guy just you're not gonna find go you're not gonna find <laughs> this tequila Anywhere Amazon's else. anywhere. I don't. Amazon says liquor. This is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I'm asking. I really don't know. <laughs> Very like a red wine. Oh, okay. Like a, the best red wine in the world. Yes. It might just be us. He's Maui. Hi, Maui. The sexy Maui. Or... Sexy Maui. We love that. Right. Al, so you said you wanted the sun, right? We use a whiskey barrel to age this one. So you're going to feel vanilla, caramel, and the aftertaste. Yeah. 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 Credo. 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 Then we got for you. I hope you like it. I hope you love it. Love that. Doesn't break. Doesn't leak at all. And flying. Very, very protected. So much. Selection. That's the case. Okay. Yeah. Even in there. Iguana watch. There he is. Yeah, no thank you. No <laughs> thank you! Yeah, I forget like 50% armor for your sign. The side and the two chips like this. The two chips.
Here's Sweetie to be here this morning. I'm so happy we went early. Today is the last full day. Um, bit of sweet, definitely. Yesterday we were talking to the couple who was in the, the Jeep. Um, they drove. They were saying that this is their, one of their shorter cruises. And I definitely get why. Because six days. Initially it was like, oh my god, six days. I can't wait to go home. I'm going to be exhausted. But like, you, by the time you get to the sixth day, you can kind of see what people do. Like a two-week cruise, um, 30 days. They said that's how people actually live on the ship. So they just basically spend like 30 days or more. Th I think it's 30 day cruises is the most you can do. They basically spend like 30, a month at a time and they don't really have any attachment to land. They just live on cruise ships and I'm just like, wow. But honestly, I feel like this could be my thing. So I feel like it's a good way. I think it's a really good way to, um, to visit a lot of countries in um, a very short space of time. Because normally if you go on a vacation to a country, you'd be there for, let's say, a week at that time when you could be on a cruise ship for two weeks and visit like four or five countries if you get what i mean i don't think this is my last cruise i i really really enjoyed it um so for today because this is going to be my last video in this series <laughs> yeah so if you're not enjoying the food at the buffet absolutely do like um it's not specialty dining but because you don't pay extra only if you get things from the bar but do the one that they prepare the breakfast fresh for you and stuff like that like that one is really really good I've been enjoying that and I've been doing that for the last two days. Um, for today, I'm going to be exploring this ship just a tad bit more. Not really exploring because I think that I would have seen already, but I'm going to actually try some of the rides that are on the ship. So I think I'll try the tracking, our trekking that's on the ship. I should be trying the slide today. Also, an FYI. So, an FYI for if you are coming on a cruise. As far as I've seen in the room, and maybe I just have not explored, these. So I guess it's for European travelers. These are the only two outlets that you have, and then you have, you have these USB outlets. So it might be worth walking walking with um an extension to help you out with that. Um I've had wine. I've had wine in this fridge, although it says that this is not a fridge from this is not a fridge. So I don't even know what this is there because it says it's not a fridge but it cools nothing and this is what happens there so so in this clip i'm heading over to the de-embarkment information just so that i know how to prepare for the next day and how i should offboard the ship remember earlier when i was like oh we're gonna be doing the slides today and i'm just going to be exploring all in my head was that i would be brave enough and i would be able to do this big slide um yeah no I had to head on over to the kitty slide and well I couldn't go on the kitty slide because I was too tall to go on the kitty slide but I just had to splash around the kitty section there to have a little enjoyment and then <laughs> Then I was off to eat food that I absolutely did not need or I just I just should not have. And this is why I just have Doctor now right next to all these clips just looking at me in complete disgust because I just <sighs> no. It's okay if you Listen, I am so ashamed of myself. It is it's the last day, but I didn't even have to do all this, honestly. So the night before, you know, everyone has to leave the ship. There's a lot of, you know, like everybody's confused. So there's a lot of wait time, a lot of lines that like get services. So this is what we're doing here. Just kind of printing out our boarding passes for our flights because we had an early flight the next morning, even though our flight ended up being delayed by um, by hours. But um, this is just what we're doing right here. No, I
booked another, you already booked two other cruises? He's got five five oh, other cruises? Yeah. <laughs> you booked five year, other cruises? Next year we're going January, February, May. Oh, I'm going to go last May. Oh. I'm 75. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping to retire at 30. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find yourself a sugar daddy? <laughs> On the lookout. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> He has five cruises set up. My mind is blown. This year I had six. You had six had cruises? I had five this year. He had I had six. six. It was the night before departure. Have you been on one? Yes. Oh, did you like it? Yeah, very good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> do, you th do you think you're going to go again? Me? Yeah. No. Yeah, for another carnival cruise. Yes. Oh. <laughs> go. Go, go. Don't forget to give. Thanks. Thank you.